so I've been waiting for about two or three days for this fishing pole that I just ordered and it finally came in. So let's go check this out. Alright. No, I don't think it's a trash. Alright, so look, it came in this huge box and in this little box. I don't know if this is something that my mom ordered or is it coming with it. So first let's open the big box. Here Kel, you record the box. Okay. Oh, I mean, Look at that big old box. This is the top half, then the bottom half. Median, action, Guggen squad, rod. Wow, that's a tall rod. It's got the little symbol on there. Alright, so that's the pole, and then the rod. The real, well, I guess the little box. Here, hold that. Can I see you? Whoa! It's really, it's really big. Hey, let's see. Poopy. Poopy. Oh, gosh, I must cut myself. The Guggen reel. Let's tighten her up. You want to try it out in the pond? Yeah, I guess I will. I'm trying to fish with it today. It's on the wrong hand for me, but that's that was super smooth. I think that that's how I do it. Hey, I want no, to. No, we switch. I want to. Whoa, I want to. that's that's the wrong angle, Mom. Or if you want to this thing. Pretty sure I do. Does it connect? So look, I'm going after some bass with my new Guggen favorite rod, 2000, and it's made out of glass, so they say that it's more bendier than the old rods that I've been using. So, I'm going to be trying it out and see if I can't catch anything on it. I'll let you know if I catch a fish. You guys may think that I'm an idiot because I just caught a freaking fish and... Oh my gosh, my GoPro was automatically turns off after about five or six minutes, and it turned off by itself, and I pressed record and everything, but it's off, so, it, uh, like, power's off, so, and then, I mi I was talking about it to myself, I was, oh my gosh, I'm so dumb. Well, I did catch a fish on the Guggen pole, it fought really hard, and, dude, it, it was awesome. He tore up my fluke down there, I don't know if y'all can see that. Yeah, but he tore it up, and he ate it. It was a tiny guy, though. Like, really tiny. I don't know how he would get it in his mouth if, he, if it was a real bluegill. Well, I'm going to try to catch another fish. Hopefully my camera's on this time. 
<sighs> All right, let's get to it. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, I really like the new rod and reel that I got. It's just a little heavy in the hand, like the bottom hand where I reel with. It's mostly because the reel is a little bigger than I usually use, so I think that's why. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. This is Keeping It Country. Make sure to like and subscribe, and make sure to hit that big bell so you can get all my notifications. And God bless.